In a previous video, we saw how to set up Kafka so that we could have a producer which publishes on to a Kafka topic and then a consumer which receives that information from a Kafka topic. This will give us a whole lot of benefit when we want to publish something that's happened and perhaps we want another process to pick up some heavy lifting work and take that offline for us. So in this video, we're going to see how to write to a Kafka topic from within a Spring Boot application. I have an, a, an existing Spring Boot application here and several DAOs that are mostly persisting, either writing to a database or writing to a file stream. The one that I'm on right now is called Photo DAO, and it is in charge of saving the photo to disk. While we're saving it to disk, we're going to add a message to our Kafka topic to allow a separate program to come in and resize that photo and also watermark that photo. To begin, let's add a Kafka template as an attribute to this class. This is going to require a Maven dependency, so let's have a look for it. It doesn't find it by class, so let's search for artifact. Org Spring Framework Kafka is the one that we want. I choose Add. And then Refresh, Load Maven Changes. Now things look a lot better because it's prompting me to import this Kafka template. So Alt-Enter, let's go ahead and import it. Now in our save image method, writing something to this topic is quite straightforward. Kafka template dot send, and we start with the topic name. We'll start with one called photo in, and then we'll have what we want to put on that topic, which is the location of the photo so that any other process subscribed to this topic can grab that photo and do any post-processing with it. Path.normalize.toString will give us that information. I need to do some edits to application.properties so that it knows where to find Kafka. So the host and port number, group ID, uh, several other configuration information pieces for Kafka. Now you notice that that has a, an IP address essentially or a host. And this is where something that we talked about earlier works out really well, where you can have an application.properties for each different environment, because it's likely that you're going to have maybe a local Kafka instance on your development machine, something else in test, something else in stage, and certainly something else in production. And the application.properties is where you want to put that information. At this point, I'm about to press play and let this run, but I do a final check and I realize that I missed an annotation above Kafka template. Just like all of our other attributes that we want to have auto-wired, we need to place the auto-wired annotation above it. And with that, we're ready to start. I started a new command line consumer and I ran through a simple test to make sure I had everything right. I'll keep this up and then we'll go through it all together. I go to the application homepage, I hit choose file and any image will work, start slideshow is just fine. I choose that and I hit submit. We see that IntelliJ lights up orange because it's hit the breakpoint where I'm about to put this on the Kafka topic. So one more time, let's just look and confirm that you just see the little test I did earlier with Redbud 2. As soon as I press F9 here, we go back to that command window and we see that start slideshow is now on the topic. And additionally, we can return to our page and we see that everything rendered okay, indicating there was not an error. So in this video, we've seen how to add an item to a Kafka topic and also how to add Kafka to our existing Spring Boot project. In the next video, we're going to look at the other side of this train. In other words, we've seen the producer. Now, how do we handle the consumer side where we need to pick this up and do something with it? I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.